Good Saturday morning, guys. Hey, welcome to Exit Strategies. I am your host, Colin J. Millett, broken owner of Exit Realty Group in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina. Hey, if this is your first time listening to the show, as always, guys, as always, you are most definitely, most certainly any other positive, definitive object, adjective you want to use, guys, we are on that round here today. So y'all strap in, y'all hold tight because we're going to have it and we're going to have at it well. So guys, this is your first time listening to the show. Our mission here is very simple, very simple. That is to empower our community, the African-American community through financial literacy and real estate education, guys. We are legacy building. That's what we do. So hey, you can kind of find us on social media. Yeah, yeah, that Facebook, yeah. We got one of them pages. Check us out there. You can catch us on YouTube, our channel, Exit Strategies Radio, guys. We always or try to uh, attach video that we take in studio. So if you don't happen or you happen to have to get off the road or walk away from the radio or something, you think you might have missed something, guys, you can go back, check out our recording there, get those nuggets. And most importantly, hey, on our video, we record during the breaks as well. So you get the ad lib conversation behind the scenes. Sometimes we drop in those extra, extra, extra special nuggets, those diamonds, if you will, the real true gems um, on the break. So guys, please make sure you go back and check that out. And also most importantly, or even more importantly, share it. Guys, sometimes what we're talking about on air may not be your situation, may not be your story. And if it ain't your situation, it ain't your story, but you know somebody who it belongs to, please make sure they get the relief that they may need by sharing the content of this show, guys. Look, just to let you know, hey, I'm available. Yeah, I'm available. And no, don't mean call me, inbox me with all the extra stuff. Now, let's get it right. But hey, I'm available to come talk to your group, your church. Look here, I'll come talk at your family reunion, guys. We got to do better in our community about getting this information out. So guys, I am available to come speak to your group. All right. I'm, I got a few of those coming up here over the next few months. I'm super excited for the people that I'm hopefully, trustfully going to be able to give some information to engage and trustfully work to empower. So guys, if you, your group, your employer, whoever it is, guys, hey, reach out to me. You can reach me at my office, 843-619-3005. Or, hey, <laughs> I'm going to do something that some people don't like. I'm going to give you myself, 843 843- 364-3095. Hey, reach out to me and get me scheduled to come talk to your group, your organization, your family about what you guys to, can do to create or otherwise further and build your legacy. I look forward to hearing from you. So, hey, look, last week, yeah, yeah, last week was awesome. Guys, we had a great conversation in studio. So they ain't let me loose in the booth alone again. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, look, I got none other than my number two, my dude, Corwin J. Millett II, in studio with me again today. We're in here and we're talking about what you need to be working on, focusing on to help build or otherwise create a legacy. So, Corwin, thank you for coming in again. Thank you for having me. Uh, first first and foremost, I'd like to say good morning. Good morning, good morning, Charleston. Um, there's a, a, quite a bit of information that uh, we're, we're gonna be going over today. Um, so first and foremost, um, if you have any questions, um, please uh, don't hesitate to, to reach out to myself or Corwin, uh, and, and we'll leave that information for you uh, 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 in a in a little in a little bit here. Um, but uh, I, I want to start our conversation today on the importance of savings, um, and uh, the reason I want to start here is because um, you know. According to Bankrate's uh, latest financial security index, three in 10 adults in the U.S. have no emergency savings. Three in 10. That, that is uh, almost 28% of people have no savings. And how do you amass or build wealth in your day-to-day -day lives if you have no savings, if you have no, nothing to stand on? Um, that, that becomes very difficult. Um, so the very first thing that I tell people is the very first step is save something. Doesn't have to be a lot. Be $5, could be $10, but save something. Getting into that habit of saving is going to make for a better financial future 
once you are once you're uh, you know out in the workplace um, making more money uh, and, and things like that. So uh, I wanted to ask you, Corwin. Um, Don't that sound odd? You say <laughs> my name? I'm sorry, guys. I had to jump no. in there with that one there. I know that had to sound because this sounds crazy when I say it sometime to you. But go ahead. I'm no. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. I wanted to ask you. Um, legacy. Uh, we, we've been talking quite a bit over the, the past couple of weeks about um, building a legacy and, um, and, and what that means. Um, so I wanted to ask you, kind of, kind of take a second here. Um, what is a, uh, what does a financial legacy um, mean? That is a very open-ended question. And see, here you go trying to be the teaching and, and make me the student. Um, because that's really what you're doing over there. I just want to point it out to you. If y'all <laughs> listen, y'all just heard that because he asked me about what a legacy is. But I'm going to give it to you like I've been giving it to the listeners for a very long time. And that has been what the word tells us. And a legacy is about leaving an inheritance for your children, your children, children, and your children, 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 so forth and so on. That's what the word gives us. And that's what we're going to stand on right here. Eh? Absolutely. All right. Go ahead. Absolutely. Uh, so I, I kind of want to touch on that uh, for a second. Um, uh, building a, a a future for your children. Um, do do you all know that feeling you get on payday? That that really really comfortable feeling, like you don't have a care in the world until next week. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, what a savings is going to provide for you is that payday feeling all the time. That payday feeling, what you're feeling, is a a sense of security. It's kind of like a, a, a security blanket, if you will. Um, having a savings makes you a emotionally, in most cases, makes you more comfortable in a lot more situations because you have that safety net in the back of your mind. Now, as I was saying with the, the, the payday, I, first off, I'm convinced that uh, <laughs> that paydays, uh, payday is set on Friday to make sure that you come to work the next week. Because the two most expensive days of the week are coming up. And as my granny would say, that money is burning a hole in your pocket, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so with savings, um, with that, you have, to, you have to make sure that you are focused. Um, and, and focus is, is a very... Um, that's, that's, an, that's an elusive word. Um, focus, because if you think about it, not not to not to jump in or anything, no. but um, if you think about it, guys, you know it's easy for us to lose focus. We have so many things vying for our attention, you know, social media. Lord have mercy, the phones. I mean, it's always something. You know, you you always have something that is vying for your your immediate attention. You know, outside of children, outside of you know bosses or your employer or any other any anything like that is always something somebody vying for your attention. So to be able to focus on what you need to do for yourself, at least in my offhand opinion and observation, is increasingly difficult. And what I mean by that is because you spend your time on social media wondering who did what, what this celebrity done did now, who done did this. Even if you're on the other side of the fence and you're paying attention to what's going on in the world and politics and all this other stuff, if you're focused on that stuff, oftentimes you're not focused on what you need to be doing for you, which is savings. Exactly. Uh, so I, I, I want to uh, backtrack a little bit into savings here. Um, you know, there are many types of savings, uh, not not just one. Uh, the, the most uh, common is a savings deposit account. Um, which actually has the least return of all savings accounts. Um, if you can believe it, the most common one has the, the least return. Uh, but with that, um, you know, most people uh, don't understand that there is a, uh, there's another way to save. There, there are multiple ways to save. Uh, you have uh, stocks, bonds, uh, CDs, which are uh, certificates of deposits, um, 401ks, IRAs, kind of speaking towards uh, retirement and things like that. And if you don't know what these things are, um, you know, uh, please reach out, reach out to us so so we can give you that information. Um, 
I'm available for, uh, for more information or to set up consultations. I can be reached at 843-312-4134. Again, that's 843-312-4134. Or you can find us online at www.uces.net forward slash C Millette the second. Again, that is www.uces.net forward slash C M E L E T T E I I. So, just as a note, guys, just just as a note here. And matter of fact, let me let me back. Matter of fact, I'm back up for a second. So let me let me add this in. And guys, I want you to think about this. This is gonna mess y'all up, and it's probably gonna hit y'all tomorrow when y'all go in the bathroom. Here's the reality. The reality is you, we live off the money that we earn. Absolutely. That That's it. And the more that you earn, the more money you spend living. Absolutely. If you start thinking about it, I mean, real real talk, guys, real talk. As a listener, some of y'all, one of y'all just stopped in the kitchen right, right now with the eggs in the pan and just froze right in the middle of the kitchen. Everybody looking and saying, what's wrong with you? Because they think, think something going on. But you just it just dawned on you and you realize that when you were making $7 an hour, you lived almost the same way financially, not in the same environment, not same car, not any of that stuff, not the same material things. But oftentimes you live the same way financially, meaning the amount of money or, or the ability to be able to go from a month to a month, you know, having more month at the end of your money, um, you know, as you did or you or as you are now making maybe twice as much. So, guys, look, we just got the signal for the first break. We're going to push a pin right there. You listen to exit strategies. Hey, we'll be right back. So guys, here's the reality. And this is where we're going on this tangent. This will, <laughs> this will be, I won't say entertaining, but it's going to be enlightening. Okay. Really, it's going to be enlightening because as you start to think about, um, you know, the money that you spend on a daily, the money that you spend that you didn't used to spend or that you didn't have to spend that you're spending now, um, these things start to factor in. So we want to start looking at this thing a little bit differently. And, you know, again, I promised you and, you know, I'm, 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 you know, working to make sure that we are meeting, meeting that. But we talk so much about grassroots, about getting to the basics and the fundamentals and talking with you guys about things that are relevant and pertinent to what you got, got, got going on now. You have to, you have to approach this differently. You can't approach it the same way that you have approached and expect to get somewhere that you haven't already, already arrived. Period. Period. You cannot because it does not work. So you, in order to be somewhere different, you have to do something different. You have to travel different. You don't, you don't make a, you don't get a, or, or get a cover five feet of distance without moving. Okay, I don't mean any harm, but you have to move. If you want to be on the other side of the street, you got to cross the road. So here we go. Let's cross the road. Let's figure out what it is we need to do, what direction. Now, granted, you may need you may be the person that just bolts across the road. So be it. As long as ain't no traffic coming, you are golden. But if you're not that person to bolt across the road, maybe you want to walk down, find a crosswalk, and wait for a traffic light and make your way across. Maybe you want to take one of them ramps over or something and do that. There's a number of different ways to cross the road. That old adage, old question about the chicken, how they cross the road or how to get to the other side. Yeah. Or why did it cross the road to get to the other side? We're going to talk about that on air in a minute because I like that right there. Y'all got to start thinking about this thing here different in order to get somewhere differently. Make sense? Let's make it happen. That's what we're doing.
And we are back, guys. Second segment, Exit Strategies Radio Show. I am your host, Cohen J. Millett, broken owner of Exit Realty Group in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina, guys. Hey, look, I know, I know if this was or is your first time listening, you already like, wait a minute, what in the world I've turned this dial to this morning? Hey, our mission here is very simple, guys. That is to empower our community, the African-American community, through financial literacy and real estate education, guys. We are legacy building. That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Make these things happen. So when you guys are out in the industry making things happen, putting things in place for your family for generations to come, guys, that's what you want to do. You want to tag that thing, legacy building, because that's what you're out there doing. Real talk. You can find us in a number of different places. You can catch us on social media, Facebook, YouTube. We have channels there, Exit Strategies Radio. Please look us up. We share the content from our show to those platforms. Please make sure that you save it. Um, please make sure that you share it as well. Because, guys, we work on the Instagram page, too, and I'm very excited about our content and some of the directions that we're considering to move forward on this show going forward. I'm very stoked because we're almost two years on air. I don't say that very often. I just realized it not too long ago. I'm very excited about that because we've been bringing a message like this to you guys for some time. And we're excited about the impact that we're having in the community. And most importantly, we're ecstatic that you guys are making these things here happen. So y'all keep going and we're going to keep right along with you. All right. So look, they ain't let me loose in the booth alone. I got my son in here, Colvin Millette, the second. How you doing, son? I'm doing all right. How are you, dad? Look, we will. We will. We won't complain. So, look, guys, we've been talking a little bit about that financial piece, guys, what you kind of need to know. Uh, first first segment, we really focused on types of savings and things of that nature and kind of was plugging some things. For those of you who are going to watch this or watching this um, recording, if you will, um, on our YouTube channel, you would have gotten or would have seen how we talked about you have to do something different to get somewhere different. All right. You don't cross the road without taking a step or doing something in order to get there. You can't stay in the same place and manifest in another. Woo, that was a word right there. Say that, woo, I'm going to say that one more time. You cannot stay in the same place and manifest somewhere else. Woo, yes, that's a word right there for somebody. Y'all need to hear that and y'all need to accept that because we keep trying to do the same thing and expect to manifest in a different place. And that right there, guys, does not, manage to work out very well if you don't believe me because you ain't got to take it from me i want you first and foremost to take that thing in prayer and see what happens but even still if you take it in prayer and you still got question go to your spiritual leader go to your past and ask that question how is how is it or is it possible for me to remain the same and manifest somewhere else how does that work out or how how can we get that to work all right. I want to know if you get a word on that, please give me a call and let me know, because I want to know your pastor should preach that when they're by the way as well. You need to ask that question and get somebody to preach it. And we ain't going to stay on that day too long. But here, I want to tell you, and we was talking about this a little bit before the break, guys. Real talk, real talk for our listeners, for anybody who's passing through the area, listen to this show. I want you to take a moment and think about how you live when you first started out, whatever that minimum wage job might have been or whatever that entry level position might have been paying you, how you live then and how financially you live. Because the reality is the way that you live financially is going to follow you from income level to income level. And what I mean by that, if you live check to check, because we make the excuse and this is real talk, but we make the excuse oftentimes of this one thing. We wasn't making enough money. Yeah, yeah. So we make that excuse. And then what happens is we made the excuse of not making enough money in order to be able to save or this here, that day and the third. And then later in life, when we are making more money, we're still living the same way. And we're living the same way because we're making the same types of decisions that we made when we were making less money. So, look, for those of you who know me, you know, I'm avid on personal development, business development, things of that nature. I do a lot with that. And I, I'm going to I'm I'm bring Colin back in on this here in a moment. But I want to drop this nugget on you. I want y'all guys to pay attention to this. So real talk, real talk. Here we go. Here we go. All right. When y'all go in the bathroom, either if y'all ain't brush your teeth already, I appreciate you getting fresh out of the bed before you, you know, get 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 the, the, the pearly whites or the gums or whatever right this morning. I appreciate that. But when you go in the bathroom, I want you to take a look at your, I want you to take a look at your um uh I want you to take a look at your toothpaste, okay? 
So in taking a look at your toothpaste, we brush our teeth based upon the amount of toothpaste that we got. Absolutely. So when you got a tube full of toothpaste, you put a big old glob on your little toothbrush, you run under the water. If you lose some of it, you're okay. Because you know what happens? You put some more on, and then, then you go ahead and do what you was going to do. Now, when you got a little bit of toothpaste in that tube, in that, in that tube y'all put that little pee right on there. <laughs> y'all... Why y'all you're looking y'all don't stick on the water, let the water run over it. You literally kind of wish it under real quick, let a little bit of water hit it, and then go ahead and brush your teeth. And you do as well of a job brushing your teeth with that little bit of toothpaste in the tube as you do with the tube with the tube full. The logic behind this is that you do the same thing with a little that you do with a lot. Absolutely. I want you to think about that. See, so we keep living like we got a lot, but if you start taking away and focus on living on a little, then you'll be okay. And this is where I'm going with this, and I'm going to bring Colton back in. Where I'm going with that is this. If you focus on, you say you, you can't save. If you focus on saving first, look here, get your money, pay tithes. After you pay tithes, pay yourself. And then pay bills off of what you got left. And first thing y'all going to start talking about and saying to me is this. Now, look here. First and foremost, I'm pot black, calling pe kettle black. I'm, pre I'm preaching to the choir. I'm saying thing right here because I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Okay. But I I'm telling you this because this, is, this requires a mindset change. Now, if your mindset has changed, you're going to start to act and do different. Okay. When you remove people from your vicinity, from your surroundings who don't have the same drive the same ambition the same desire to be in a place that you want to be when you start getting those people from around you then you're able to focus get your mindset right and make those changes i don't mean no harm but you're an atheist you don't go to church and vice versa you ain't hanging out with a bunch of atheists i don't mean no harm you're trying to save people but you can pray for people and save them just as well as you can being in their presence and sometimes being in their presence acts as a detriment to your say of salvation that was a word what I'm getting at is keep people of similar mind close and work, work people, work to meet your goals. So again, here we go talking about savings. Let's focus on saving first after we pay them tithes and then pay the bills off of what's left. And if, you, if the bills don't fit, you know what you do? You start getting rid of some expenses. Look here, we just got the signal for the next break, guys. Hold tight. We're going to be right, right back with the final segment of Exit Strategies.
three. What else we gotta get to? We need to talk about these events too. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> all I've gotta get to is three minutes on final segment. We can pick that up next time. I don't have anything. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm done. Information. Okay, cool. Well, I got some more stuff. Yeah. Hey guys, final segment, Exit Strategies Radio Show. I'm your host, Colin J. Millett, broken owner of Exit Realty Group in beautiful Illinois, Charleston, South Carolina. That's where we from. That's where we at. That's where we're making these things happen from. Hey, look, it's been an incredible show. Hey, got my co-host in today, my son, Colvin II. Um, give a shout out to them folks, man. Good morning, Charleston. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> so look, we got some upcoming events, guys. We don't want to get too far off and make sure we get these out. If you're riding around out there today, if you're a local hero, hey, if you're a police officer, firefighter, EMS, military, active or retired, if you're a Marine, y'all never retired. That's what I've been told. Um, so look here, if a school teacher, you know, nurse, whatever, you know, medical field, guys, we have a, a, a program specifically for our local hero, our home for heroes um, program where we give a rebate for you guys that are buying homes. We discount our services for you guys that are that are selling them actually. Um, closing a hero, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I said closing. Um, well, yeah, closing a hero transaction and my seller um, is going to be saving about $1,600 on on the real estate services, getting a rebate or discount at the closing table um, for just for being a, a hero, being military, um, selling a home. So i um, very excited. I'd love to get back to you guys. But anyway, we have a workshop going on actually today, guys, at the library in Sangaree starting at one o'clock. Come out and get some free information. Um, on the program and what we're doing. Um, we also have um, one of my agents, um, Tara Frederick, is hosting um, a home buyers workshop, excuse me, on the 28th of, of September at the Charleston County Library, starting at 12 o'clock. Um, hey, if you're in the PD area, I'm gonna be up in old good old Mullins, South Carolina, guys, on the 12th, um, doing a home buyer workshop at Bottega, which is a uh, uh, a small venue um, on Main Street, 112 Main Street. That's going to be at 10 o'clock. Um, we're going to do a session on, on real estate investing um, on the backside of a home buyer workshop there. And then, hey, October 1st, guys, October 1st at our office, 3618 uh, Ashley Phosphate. Ashley Frustrate, if you know it well as I do. Um, Road in North Charleston. Guys, guys we're going to be there. We're going to be there that evening, October 1st. That's actually uh, uh, Monday or I think it's a Tuesday during the week. Um, guys, we're going to be there um, doing a, um, a credit um, restoration workshop, an introduction. We're actually putting together um, a group there. So I'm very excited about that. If you're interested, guys, I want 20 to buy, buy one, I want 20 people that need help with credit. I want 20 of you guys that need help with your credit, that want to buy a house in 20. I need for y'all to reach out and call me, 843 364 3095. Hey, guys, the show has been phenomenal. I got to give a shout out. To, to my giants out there and you know who you are you're a giant in everything you do because of the god that you serve you rock you make it happen and i want you to keep going i'm gonna keep cheering you on for all my listeners we love you and we'll talk to you next time y'all have a great week All right, guys. Look, I'm on my 20 kick, and we're working to get it. All right? 20. I want 20 homeowners. 20. Future homeowners. 20 and 20. They need credit repairs. So I need 20 of you guys that need help with your credit. 
to come so we can help you buy a house in 2020. All right. We're coming up into the year. Some of you guys may be ready before that, but we want to start the new year off right. We want to help you guys get into homes. We have a program for you. Um, we're putting some incentives together for you as well to help you guys get to where you want to be and where you need to be. All right. We're here committed for the long haul to help you guys make decisions financially that are going to benefit you and your family for generations. All right. We're committed to that. So come on out. Give us a holler. You got my number. If you didn't, 843-364-3095. Corwin, your contact? Yeah, uh, 843. My, you can, I can be reached at 843-312-4134. Again, that's 843-312-4134. Guys, y'all rock. Make it a good one.